Hello and welcome to INN's weather updates of Hurricane Irene. I'm Shane Yeager, located outside of Holloway Hall at Salisbury University in Salisbury, Maryland. Hurricane Irene is presently working its way up the eastern shore and moving towards Ocean City. It's scheduled by tomorrow to rock the shore. For more information, we throw it to our amateur meteorologist, Matt Lockwood. Thanks, Shane. And no doubt about it, this is a huge storm headed our way. New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia have all declared a state of emergency for Hurricane Irene. Now, she started out in the ocean as a Category 2 hurricane, and once she touched down in North Carolina, downgraded to a Category 1. However, the speed with which she is moving and the speed of her winds still make her a very, very dangerous storm. Now, the brunt of the storm is supposed to hit Ocean City, Maryland tomorrow, that's Saturday, around midday, and last until Sunday afternoon. There's going to be a lot of damage widespread throughout the area, as well as throughout the Salisbury area. Salisbury is expected to see similar damage to the Bahamas shown here, but not quite as severe. Residents are being instructed to take caution by boarding up windows, removing unsecured items from outside their homes, and staying indoors as much as possible. Although there has not been a mandatory evacuation for Salisbury like there has been for Ocean City, residents should still show extreme care over the next 48 hours. We'll have more on Hurricane Irene right after this. Yesterday, Salisbury hosted its student move-in. Normally, this is a very busy day with students running around all excited to start their college experience. Unfortunately, with Hurricane Irene's movements, Salisbury was forced to literally send their students packing. The move-in day started off like always, festive with happy students everywhere. It looked like Salisbury University was ready for another flawless freshman transition. Thanks to Hurricane Irene, the campus went from this to this, a total ghost town. I was lucky enough to catch up with a few parents and get their thoughts before they evacuated. Well, I'm just surprised. I don't know. Just surprised to didn't know that could happen. I don't know what I'm going to be doing now. We're actually going down to the beach for the weekend, but we'll see what happens and whether or not I got to go back home and bring you back next week. I don't know. It's a little, it's frustrating emotionally to think you're going to say goodbye and then to have her come back home, but at the same time you want her safe. So we'll take her back home for three more days and enjoy her. It's like Hurricane Irene is still on the first weekend from us. Not only were students and parents frustrated with the weather, but local shops were feeling the pressure as well. They were boarding up to minimize damages. Thirsty's owner Vin Marbury wasn't too excited about the storm to come. Uh, we don't know how collateral damage it can do to our uh, our life here you know I mean I have two kids myself my wife and you know we're like living in our house all just you know praying that it doesn't get too exactly. strong and don't get too hard but uh, you know it is what it is you got to live with the fact that this is nature and nature calamities you can't really win on that so just got to protect yourself have plenty of food plenty of water just you know don't overreact to this thing just stay calm stay patient and uh, just it play, out. play it out, you, you know, just play it. it according to years. That's all, that's all I can say. It looks like only time will tell for the fate of the Eastern Shore. One thing is certain, though, I'll be here to cover it all. Reporting from the Independent News Network, Shane Yeager. Thank you for tuning in to the INN weather update of Hurricane Irene. Tomorrow, we'll have more information from the eye of the storm. To catch more information and learn a little bit more about Salisbury University, we encourage you to check out www.independentnn.com. Thank you. We'll see you here tomorrow.